it was a big weekend in downtown St. Louis, Arch Madness, the inaugural home opener of St. Louis City SC. Our Laura Barczewski is live with how thousands of fans could translate into hundreds of thousands of dollars. Laura. And I'm live outside City Park where just 24 hours ago, people were shoulder to shoulder celebrating the first big home match for St. Louis City SC. Overall, it was a big economic weekend and emotional weekend for St. Louis. A sold out crowd of more than 22,400 St. Louis soccer fans packed City Park on Saturday for St. Louis City SC's homecoming game. I feel like the whole community has been waiting for such a long time, so to be there at that moment when they finally come home is like, it's really one of a kind experience. The team won 3-1 to one against Charlotte FC. We need wins, and we'll certainly take that win both on and off the field last night. But it was also a win for St. Louis. It's good for St. Louis. It's something we needed, I feel like, and just it being soccer, we're big soccer fans, so it's just like that much sweeter. Wash U St. Louis Sports Business Director Patrick Brish says with tickets and retail spending, that's a big boost for the city. If people were spending on average, let's say $100 per person on a variety of things, that adds up pretty quickly to close to a quarter of a million dollars. Now, some of that will leak out of downtown and go to the county or over to the Illinois side, but that's still an injection of money at the end of the day. Down the street, it was a big weekend for college basketball with Arch Madness. Go Bulldogs! Go Bulldogs! Drake Bulldog fans traveled from Des Moines to Pack Enterprise Center. It's been fabulous. Like, you couldn't even have like, drawn it up any better. The winds, the big win today, the hospitality of St. Louis, and the fun downtown, like, it's been off the charts. Overall, fans say they felt safe downtown. But no, it was a great time. It was very safe, well lit, it, it parked on a parking garage, took several trips back and forth. And Something Rich says is key for St. Louis to thrive. If people don't feel safe, then you're not going to be seeing that energy and those other retailers won't come. So really a lot of a lot of uh, responsibility on city leadership shoulders to do the right thing and make sure that the city is safe when we have these major events. I talked with a lot of Battle Hawks fans at Ballpark Village earlier today who were watching their game. Fortunately, it was a loss, but they're saying they hope the city has this much energy during their home opener at the Dome next weekend. Reporting live in St. Louis, Laura Barteski, five on your side.